Hello from Singapore. This is Galinda. Today is April the 17th, day 11th of the circuit breaker period here in Singapore. Um, it's a bit cloudy today. I want to show you the weather outside. The view from my room is beautiful. And as usual, my lunch has just arrived. Today, we're going Malaysian-Indonesian. Behind me, you can see, mm, I have ordered um, a salad, mango with chili sauce salad. And then I've ordered a whole tilapia fish fried, blackened. There you go. Mm. And it comes with nasi kuning, which is yellow fragrant rice. Let's check out the fish. Mm. Wow. Mm. Let's check this out. Oh, oh my God. Mm. Heaven. So the mango um, salad is to be eaten with this um, spicy sauce right here, chili sauce that has a bit of a fishy um, paste smell, but mm, the combination is just amazing. Nazi Kuning is also called yellow rice. Um, it's cooked with coconut milk and um, omelette comes with it. I've mixed everything together and um, to be eaten with um, the fish. Oh. Mm. Fantastic. The government has recorded 728 new COVID cases yesterday, mostly from foreign workers living in dormitories. Still, there are ignorant and stupid people out there who just refuse to follow the rules. Earlier this week, enforcement officers took action against the woman who turned aggressive after she was approached by the clean ambassadors for not practicing safe distancing at Shunfu Mart Food Center. This woman insisted on having her meal at the cooked food section of the hawker center. Dining in is no longer allowed, in fact, since the 7th of April. She remained non-compliant and even acted aggressively towards the enforcement officers. So the police were called. Does she not understand that we are in a crisis. It is no longer important what she wants to do. She was issued a fine of 300 Singapore dollars and charges are pending. Cases of physical and verbal abuse will be reported to the police and they will be dealt with seriously. A total of 19 enforcement actions were taken to date against members of the public for violation of safe distancing requirements. During the circuit breaker period, 586 enforcement officers were deployed and they will be supported by another 834 clean ambassadors. So you can't get away with it. Do you, in your circle of friends or family, have someone who just wouldn't take the current situation seriously? How do you convince them? As of today, the outbreak of COVID-19 had spread to six continents, 
and approximately 150,000 people have died after contracting the virus. 35,000 alone were in the USA. Around 210 countries have been affected. Many countries have imposed travel restrictions. So if you have traveled or you live with someone who has traveled, you should stay away from public places. It's common sense, you think. A lot of people are confused about the difference between social distancing and self-isolation. We have never heard of these terms until a few weeks ago. And now it's just as unavoidable as toilet paper scars. Social distancing means limited social interaction, especially indoors, and it's recommended for everyone. So no to friends dropping in, no to friends coming for dinner, no to friends coming for a glass of wine or a glass of bubbly. Self-isolation means you are staying in your home, quarantined and having zero contact with the outside world. No meeting your friends, no meeting your friends for a run, no meeting your friends for a salad, no meeting your friends for a chat. In fact, you shouldn't even go for a run on your own. You have probably returned from a trip or someone in your household has returned from somewhere. You are at a higher medical risk bracket. This is a pandemic. Switch on your common sense for God's sake. The weather turned out quite well after all. Stay safe everyone.